Great. Um, let's see here. Let me get out this out of the road just so it doesn't record it. Um, so it means I'm not going to be saying too much. I'm, you're not going to see me too much. Oops. Let's get back over here. All right, so project three, AAD 376, stop motion. Um, so what is it? It's a filmmaking technique in which objects are physically moved in small increments and in just little bits and captured one frame at a time that when you played back, it'll give the illusion, illusion of motion. You know, if you kind of think of a flip book, which actually, to tell you the truth, I think is uh, for animation one um, next uh, in summer. I think I'm going to do a flip book. Um, you know, it gives the illusion of motion. So if you think about a flip book, stop motion is only similar in that it uses physical objects instead of drawings. So this sort of thing. It takes, a, it, it takes some time to do, so this is why I'm giving you almost a month uh, to do this. Um, and, you know, it's, as we're talking about eight frames per second, and so if you're talking eight times 60, we're talking about 240 frames. And the thing is, is that you may want to go back and reshoot some of it. So, you know, I'm imagining that you're going to probably take anywhere from 300 to 500 pictures. Um... You know, actually probably about 350 maybe, you know, if you want to go back and reshoot some stuff. But, you know, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, we'll have uh, three, four weeks. And if you'll see what I talk about on the brief, it's, um, you know, it should be okay. So there's a few types of stop motion. And there's like six. There's like one, you're dealing with objects. Claymation, like if you ever saw Wallace and Gromit, uh, people, cutouts, people, um, puppets, and of course, the silhouette stuff. So, types, objects, claymation. And this is a weird thing called pixelation, but the thing is, it's stop motion with people. And that's actually pretty cool. And I'm not sure whether you've thought about that before. Um, Maybe you could do that like with a little, with like a little sister or something like that. Um, cutout motion, that's pretty cool. Puppet animation and silhouettes. Um, so, what is stop motion? So what happens here is I've collected a series of videos. Let's uh, let's go through them. That's actually really cool.
which, by the way, if we were in the studio, we'd be using that. So there you go. Okay, so that's stop motion. So each type, you know, notes on it is that, you know, this can take a long time, um, you know, but you know, if you set things up, if you're organized, if you're organized, it can go pretty fast. So if you're doing it on the twos, you can say 12 frames a second, and you're saying um, on the threes is going to be eight. So the thing is, is that how can I so, you know, just so easily just say, if we're going to be doing every three frames, it's going to be eight seconds. If we're doing it every two frames, it's going to be 12. Remember, every second is always 24, 24 frames. So we just divide. That's it. So, um, you know, if we uh, do six frames a second, it's every four frames, that's called on the fours. If it's, we do it every three, it's eight frames, it's on the threes. So the thing is, in this case, I'm gonna say, um, you know, unless, um, you know, unless, unless uh, I stop motion or something like that wants you to do something different. And actually so far in my using I stop motion, it's really easy. Um, I'd say, um, you know, do it on the threes. Um, if you're using a, if you're using a, a um, Digital, you know, digital camera. Uh, probably just do it. Try to try to do it on the threes. But the one thing is, is that I'll talk about this next time. If you're using a camera and you're not using one of these um, one of these apps with your cell phone, um, I'm going to have to show you how to uh, do uh, do tests. Um, be able to assemble tests in uh, in Premiere um, on Wednesday because of the fact that. Um, you know, you could be, you could wind up doing all this work and doing all these shots and then bring it in, find out things just don't work at all. What happens is that in stop motion, there is one thing that you do have to do. You have to work bit by bit. You know, you have to, you have to plan out, kind of plan out what you're doing, but you have to test, test each bit. So that's it. So, as I said, there's six types. Um, it's going to determine what you can do, what you can't. Um, so they come, you know, with each type of their challenges. So the thing is, is that, um, let's, let's, let's take a look at this. See, that's crazy.
and you know about this. It's like actually in a lot of my classes uh, back in America, Legos were real, real popular. So that's, 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 let's see here, uh, just a second. So as I said, object motion. So this is what a lot of you tended to wind up doing. Um, I mean, you can just take stuff around the house and just uh, work with it. Um, you know, it's just literally just objects in a frame. You can do whatever you uh, want with it. And the thing is, is that it's like, it's interesting to think about what the inner life of an object is, you know, um, you know, um, you know, what does, what, what does your garden gnome feel, uh, feel like if you've got a garden gnome or, or, um, there, there's a song called my, you know, uh, my guitar gently weeps, you know, so the thing is, is that, you know, what would, what would a guitar, a guitar crying look like, you know? So, I mean, there's just all kinds of things like that. So here's something on this. I like this belt as a snake. That's really kind of cool. That's pretty funny. Ooh. See, that stuff's fairly straightforward, you know? Um, claymation. Um, a couple of things I had, and I'm going to suggest this. I'm going to suggest this as one as one of your possible things because, um, as I said, right now I don't have your chat window open uh, because I want to try to record this, but um, we can talk about this. 
you know, have you ever played with like salt and, uh, you know, um, was it um, salt, flour, a little bit of oil and some water and made your own dough and that sort of thing? You, you, could, you could just make a ball of dough and you could just start making, uh, making all sorts of things. And um, that could work out really, well, really, really, really well. So, um, you know, there's stuff like chicken run. Gumby, I'm, I'm going to see maybe if I can, um, see if I can't find chicken run. Um, but, um, and then of course, Wallace and Gromit, you know, Ardmore Studios. So that's pretty cool. So let's talk about some claymation, shall we? Pretty cool. So that was claymation. And um, so my, if you wanted to do something a little more uh, professional, you could probably uh, order out some, um, some um, professional clay, plasticine, and that sort of thing and work with that. So, But if you do that, get something local. Uh, I think maybe like canvas down at... Uh, I, I think I think you can get canvas at uh, Abu Dhabi Mall to deliver. I think so, uh, or you can at least get a, a courier to bring it up anyway. Um, so pixelation. I've never done this. Um, so it's using people as stop motion, and I think it's really interesting. But um, I've never I've never done it, and uh, personally. Um, Except for, I actually do a lot of performance art. Except for performance art, I don't like working with that many people. <laughs> so, um, but um, what happens is that um, 
I usually like working with a fairly small team. Um, but, um, you know, what happens is that, you know, you're working with this overhead shot, which means, you know, you'd have to be doing it from a terrace or something, or like the mounted from the top, your uh, you know, mounted at the top of your head bedroom. It's, it's usually not the easiest way of doing it. But the other thing is, is that, um, it's, it, it is kind of interesting to do that. So, um, and, um, you know, if you did something like this, you would probably need something like uh, eye stop motion or dragon frame. And uh, uh, actually, Ayesh, I think, has four seats of dragon frame. And if you wanted to try to figure out how to sort that, I, I don't think we can this semester. Uh, I'd say get in touch with him, but I don't think we can sort that this semester. Um, I've got the, you know, you'd probably have to get your own. Um, so here's a video on uh, pixelation. Hey, Nas. Yeah. Um, uh, just uh, just a second, gang. I've got a uh, I've 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 got I've got a call. Uh, what's going on? What do you mean? And send them an email with the link in it. No, it doesn't. Yeah. They 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 put up they what they do is that they they click on the link and they need to have downloaded the app. Yeah. Sure. Not a problem. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sorry, gang. Um, and this is going to be in the, uh, in the, um, and I'll see if I can't edit this out, edit that out. Uh, but anyway, okay. Cutouts. Um, so cutout motion or animation, you know, you basically cut out paper or thing. And so it's, it's actually really kind of cool. You can do stuff in a like really, uh, illustration kind of format. Um, pieces of paper. You know, but the thing is, is that, you know, it's like moving illustration. It can be really beautiful. And I happen to have a, a personal love of illustration myself. And I think that um, it would be um, interesting if some of you would uh, give, that a, give that a shot. And I think, you know, where that comes from. So it's a little bit cartoonish. It's a lot of fun. But the thing is, is that it's also... Um, it's, it's a bit more work, and the thing is, is that it's probably going to be kind of limited to those of you who are, you know, much better at drawing. Um, so that's that's the thing here. So um, the other thing is, is that, uh, um, you know, cutting a whole bunch of stuff up would be a lot, of pro a lot of stuff. So what the thing is, is that you would have to be really organized if you tried this uh, format. And let me show you some stuff about that. Oh, wait a second. Nope. Actually, we were we were we were talking we were talking about that before. And then we'll I'll just I'll just review that.
Okay, so there we go. So that's that. Um, and then we're back to puppets. Um, you know, that kind of gets that kind of gets over into it's. You can use action. Fi I mean, if you've got dolls, action figures, stuff like that. I mean, many of you do. Um, one thing we could have done, we could have used the body coons, you know, really well. That would have been fantastic. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, if you can try to get some stuff in, you know, really fast, you can, you know, you can work on this, uh, you know, pretty quickly. So, um, so the thing is, is that you can do pretty well if you've got good, uh, some good software, um, you know, you can... Um, you, know, you can work thing would troubleshoot your stuff pretty quick. The only thing is that if you like using like um, if using like traditional puppets like with strings, eh, you know that's kind of a problem. It's you know, more like the claymation thing, more like when you've got the articulated figures like the body coons. Though you know that's all that's that's a lot easier. But remember, see if you remember when we were working with the body coons, you know you still had to have a little rig to hold it. And, um, you know, that, that could, that could wind up showing, or you, the thing is you just, you could just wind up saying, okay, guess what? I've got a rig and it's going to show and that's it. Colossus, you know, just, just that's, that's it. So, and that's fine. So, um, but you know, we could get, you know, you could use action figures, you could use marionettes. Um, you know, the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, somewhere between a uh, puppet and uh, um, uh, puppet and object based animation is uh, Legos. And, you know, I mean, it isn't, it, I mean, I know that the, the Lego movies are primary uh, computer, uh, computer graphic, but, and that's actually if we, if um, I work with you in um, character animation or, um, Animation two might uh, try doing a uh, Lego animation, but the thing is, is that um, nevertheless, um, you know that's that's real popular. I mean, when I was when I was working in America, uh, um, you know there were there were a number of my uh, students who were doing um, um, Lego animation, so it's real popular, and I'm, I. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. This is actually really cool. Hey, origami could be an idea. I know. It, yeah, and you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to click the little, you have to click the uh, little um, uh, camera and the little microphone on top. Good. It, you, you know what? You tell them to turn theirs on. And 
you know what? It will. It it'll 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 kill your inter inter internet connection. It will kill it. It will kill it. Yeah, it'd be really hard. Hmm. Yeah, I've been having trouble with that. Um, I've been having trouble with that today, and I haven't been able to figure it out. Sure. Okay. No problem. See ya. By the way, see, there's the rig. So they use it professionally too. See, that's pretty cool, right? See, that's really cool. All these puppets always have rigs. It's nuts.
<laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's puppetry. And the thing is, is that, I mean, you know, when we were working with, you know, with, with, with our, our puppets and our, and our amateurs and things like that, it kind of works out. So what animation, you should know how to do that by now. Um, there's a movie here. Let's see here. Why don't we watch it? It's uh, two and a half minutes, so don't worry about it. So, okay. So, what are you going to need to get started? Um, well, you're going to need a phone uh, or, a, or a camera. I think in this case, I'm going to suggest a phone. Um, but if you want to use your camera, that's great. Um, and actually, next time I'll talk about, uh, I'll give you a little tutorial on how to uh, use your camera to... Uh, um, bring stuff into um, uh, Premiere and get things going. Um, there's a few things in it. You know, you have to go into preferences and set the um, set the duration of individual frames and all that sort of thing. So it's it's there's something very specific to it. The other thing is is that next time I'll also talk about uh, we're going to need to talk about camera shots, lighting. But first of all, you know, I really want to talk about technique, but Remember, this week is about getting everything done that we've been doing. I just want you to prepare for the last project so that you're ready. And really, to tell you, don't put things off. Uh, because what happens is that I just saw within this thing is that it, with, the, with, the, with, the, um, with the bouncing object thing, which I thought was just going to be like... Uh, Anything from one to three hours, you know, per, per section, people put it off till yesterday. And um, I don't want you to do that. I want you to take things as they come and try to get them done. I realize we're giving you a lot of work, but actually, to tell you the truth, I'll just say one thing is, is that I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, the, the workload you have is about half that of an American school. So just hang in there. Be strong. So, um, so, smartphone, 
tripod, uh, stop motion app, uh, or you'll be using Premiere. Uh, stuff, various lights, and you need you need to make a stage. So, camera, you can use a single lens reflex, or you can bring stuff into Premiere or After Effects. But the thing is, you can use an Android or an app. I'm using st I stop motion, and that's what I'm going to be doing my demos with. So, and it's been working out really great for me. Uh, tripod, that's our tripod sitting right here. Um, so I'm using a um, Mi Photo Tripod 100. It's about 200 uh, Durham's. If you got one yourself, that's cool. Um, actually, if you actually wind up getting out, they have these things uh, at um, Grand uh, down at uh, Grand um, Grand stores, and they're just easy. But I mean, I realize we're all mostly staying in. Um, oh wait a second, the malls are so close, so you have to get it online. Um, stop motion app. Uh, for me, I got I stop motion. It cost me 30 dirhams, and so far it's awesome. You can see right here you've got the onion skinning, and really all you wind up doing is you move your stuff, it shows you the onion skin, and then you just hit that little record, and bang, it works. And then the other cool thing is that once you get that done, you can put a piece of music over it. And then um, the thing is, is that then you get that out, and then you bring it over into Premiere, you can put voiceovers or whatever onto it. But you know what we're looking at now is trying to get the trying to get the uh, um, trying to get the um, video done. So um, stuff, and I mean this is really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about stuff, stuff around the house. You could use toys, clay, food. You know what's you know, could be interesting is is that uh, actually um, again gave, uh, gave me the idea of saying it's like you could have a sandwich and you could um, you could eat it into certain shapes or um, forget some of the other stuff. Um, so that was um, actually pretty cool. So, um, but. If you've got action figures, robots, whatever, um, it's, um, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. And then the other thing is that also think about, um, you know, look, look and watch a whole bunch of videos. Um, think about this is that um, there's one point where somebody had, you know, like, dominoes and then they use it like spreading butter and then, and then they it turned into dice um, that was really kind of cool so I mean get imaginative lights in the stage um, you're gonna need to do this uh, you're gonna need to have a little place to shoot um, you know you can do you know you can paint backgrounds you can do whatever uh, but the thing is you're gonna need a little spot to do um, the work so I hope that um, you know, your husband or your folks gives you uh, the ability to um, uh, set uh, set things up. Um, you know what? Um, sorry, I'm going to kind of pop out of. Uh, there's this thing they call the, the the fourth wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of the movie just for a second. You know, we were talking about um, like eating sandwiches and that sort of thing. What was it? What was the other thing we were, we were talking about? Like for stop motion. Okay, the ball. I'll talk about that. And then Legos and and what? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, using using like watercolor and wet painting, and then and you know what? You could also use painting. You could also use painting. So that's 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 really good. So the the one cool thing is and what? Food. Yeah, food. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's it. So I mean, the thing is, is that I mean. You know what I want you to, and uh, what I really want to encourage you to do is, I want you to really encourage you to think about, um, you know, as many different ways as possible with this, because this could, this is last project. We've got about three and a half, four weeks. This, and you'll see what the what the subject is. And I hope you do this. Another thing that could be also interesting is, uh, you know, like birthday candles. Um, they burn pretty quick. So you could take a shot, let it burn, take a shot, let it burn, take a shot, let it burn. I mean, I'm just thinking about all sorts of different things that you could capture motion with. So, 
Um, I like LED lights, um, so we can you know, do all sorts of things. Um, the brief, the theme. You know what? We've been going crazy. The theme is fun. Um, you know what? Yes, fun. 60 seconds, use eight frames per second or whatever your, whatever your I, iPhone or I, you, you, can use, you can use your iPad, whatever. Um, but go crazy, get experimental. Um, 60 seconds in titles, go nuts. Uh, resolution 1980 by 1020, 24 frames a, sec a second. Um, so when I say 24 frames a second, you're doing eight frames a second. So the thing is, that if you're doing this with a camera, you're taking a frame for every, uh, you know, for every three three frames. The one thing that you really want to do, though, if you're using a camera for each scene, you want to take it into Premiere and you want to test it. Um, this is the reason why I think that I, I would really much rather that you either take your Android or your iPhone and get something like iStop Motion and use it because I think it's, it's probably going to give you a better, um, better result. So, uh, put some titles on it. I'll give you some examples of like some end titles and things like that. And then I think we're going to talk, the other thing is I want to talk about sound. I want to talk about stuff called Foley. Um, I want to talk about sound. Uh, you already, some of you already know a bit about, um, you know, background music. So, you know, this is probably part of the, and we'll probably get into that in the second week. Um, I kind of want to talk about, you know, like the, the history of sound and animation, sound and animation and, and all that. So, and that's what, that's what our lectures are going to be like in the second week. And we're going to talk about get, getting sound, putting it into your stuff, the history of sound and animation. And... You know, that's, that's it. You know, we're sort of like, what are we going to do for three, four weeks when you're just kind of setting us loose with something? Well, we're going to meet, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about stuff you need to do. So, um, you know what? As usual, render it. Um, MP4 compression. Submit it in Project 3. Um, project 3, name, ID, MP4. Um, use, you know, whatever software you want, you know, to do, to do this stuff. Um, so, I mean, actually the thing is, is that here's a weird thing is that you could use, you could use photography and you could do stop motion in Photoshop or, or uh, Procreate, you know, this, um, there's a lot of really interesting stuff you could do. So, um, you know, I can't teach you every technique, but I can at least advise you on how to go about it. Uh, because there's, with stop motion, there's so many techniques that we can do. Um, and so that's sort of like, what is it, the, um, the, the paradox, what they call, you know, the, the problem of the paradox of choice. You know, in other words, it's like, what do you do when you have so many options? Um, so that's probably the, the easiest part of this um, project it's just have fun, you know, and try to communicate fun. By the way, that's going to be a mark, communicating fun. Um, and then on the other hand, um, but then the hard, but then the hard part is the open endedness. In other words, I'm not telling you to make an, an I'm not telling you to make a walk cycle. But guess what? This is the last. This is the last uh, project, right? So. You know, so they get more advanced, and the advanced part of this is the open end end endedness of it. So next time, don't start getting your stuff together, get your ideas together on this, but finish everything else up by the end of the week. Okay, um, I'll help you out with whatever, um, and I'm gonna finish my uh, silhouette animation up, and um, let's see here. What else? I got. I did my ball bounce, my silhouette animation, and um, um, oh, and I and I gave you the example for the walk cycle. So I've done all three. So I don't know. I got to think about what my uh, what my stop motion is going to be. So that's it. Um, 
so we'll have lectures, we'll share work, and uh, then it's um, out on Blackboard. I've got a date for the due, but due date, but that isn't really the due date. The due date is the um, uh, finals day, uh, midnight. So take a look at the finals day, midnight, that's your due date. And I think that we're probably going to have, like, the last week or so, just basically doing troubleshooting and looking at work and, and hopefully being a little chill. So, and I think we kind of need that with this uh, particular semester. By the way, 